At number 54, it's the long-running soap with wobbly sets and even wobblier acting that turned Crossroads into a household name, like Vim or Toilet Duck. Crossroads Motel? I was in terror, in fear and terror of doing it. Ah, relief at last. There's no problems, not with the guests anyway, because everybody's out there. There was an awful lot of pressure, awful lot of pressure. You couldn't make a mistake. Jimmy Gudgeon, you're demented. I'm a Scot born and bred in the, over the border. <laughs> we started at the beginning uh, of part one and then we, we finished at the end of part one. And if you made a mistake, there wasn't time to do it again. We think the grease was put there deliberately. Oh, surely not. Mrs Mortimer, in the last week, I've made a number of complaints about certain behaviours of pattern. Wonderful things happen. I mean, Glenda, Glenda Brownlow, her of the yellow handbag, right? Something awful's happened. Well, come on, girl. What was it? I mean, she went to the lavatory and didn't come back for a year. Uh, oh, Mrs Mortimer, before you go, I'd just like to say something. And Huey McPhee is still in the fridge trying to find a pork chop. They've been placed there, placed there deliberately. You can't expect the gods to smile on our little venture straight away. <laughs> what I want to know is, when do we get our mink coats and our villas in the south of France? And our villas in the south of France. Anne George, who played Amy Turtle, she was wonderful, because she really was very much... She had, did have a Birmingham accent. And our villas in the south of France. She would get very nervous and she would dry a lot. I mean, there's no question. She, she, she get very uptight and at one point she stopped she was doing a scene with Ronnie Allen who was being very suave with her and talking to her like that I'll come back in an hour and we'll have something to eat hmm? and she she said I, I, she said I can't act with him she said he acts too fast wasn't he concerned in a fire mm. his house he started a fire accidentally I spoke to him yesterday because of my suspicions he had a breakdown Spent a while in a mental home. Yes, it'll haunt him for the rest of his life. You forget that people laughed at it rather than with it. Right from the very beginning, uh, people just say, oh, this is rubbish, and tune in because of the over-the-top storylines and the wobbly scenery. Everything you've ever seen on Acorn yeah. Antiques was true. Amy Turtle was Mrs Overall. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Averill. Here's your coffee, Miss Babs. <laughs> What's wrong now? Oh, nothing. Just a rather mysterious phone call from the Far East. Well, sometimes that's God's way of telling you to think on and look sharp. <laughs> You're right. God, I am awful. Here I am blabbing away about my own troubles and I forgot to ask you about your husband's car crash. Oh, he's dead, Miss Babs. <laughs> And when the producers axed a, a huge national outcry. Michael Summerton, who was her agent, phoned her up and said that they are not going to renew your contract. And Nolly was absolutely desperate. It was unforgivable. As soon as they sacked Noel Gordon, you know, Crossroads Motel, it was only a matter of time before it was burnt to the ground. Oh, oh, my God! Most of the people who knocked it never saw it, and they always felt it was the smart thing to do. Oh, Crossroads. But how insulting to 17 million people who watched it. Goodbye. They can't all be wrong. <laughs>